Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. Um, and this video, I'm going to do a PS4 collection. Um, I was waiting for something to come through the post, and it's now came, so I can finally do my PS4 collection. And this item came from Andy at UK Crowd Gaming. So a while ago, I sent him something um, that, that he would be interested in, something he was looking for, I think. And um, I didn't really want anything back for it, but he sent me a message on Facebook and asked me if I wanted this, and it's absolutely fantastic, love it. It's um, Horizon Zero Dawn, um, limited, limited edition. So this game I've got the Platinum in it, and I did the um, the Frozen Wilds um, DLC. I don't have 100% total trophies because there is a lot of um, DLC trophies, but I did get the Platinum and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, and this is a really cool special edition, uh, limited edition. Um, And inside you've got the steel book, which is absolutely mint, with the instruction manual, which is a wee sheet of paper. And also inside you've got this little art of Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm just having a wee look through this book, it really wants me to just jump straight back into the to the world and start exploring it again, maybe go to the 100% uh, trophy list. But I think you've got to do it on like New Game Plus and Harvest setting and things like that. But just like this here, I love this. So you've got like a picture of, the, of a town and then you see it in the time lapse almost. But it kind of shows you how it looks back then and then how it looks in the game. It looks really cool. And all the artwork is stunning in this game. There's a Eloy there. Fantastic for the protagonist. Um, yeah, loved Zero Dawn, eh, Horizon Zero Dawn. An absolutely epic, epic game. So I'll continue with the two other steel books that I've got here. I've got um, The Order, 1886, limited edition. It comes in a wee slip sleeve. Nothing much inside. I don't think. I think it's got a DLC voucher code there, which is probably used already. And I still got the receipt in there, which was 55 quid. 54.99, but I don't think I'd ever paid 54.99 for this game. I really, really enjoyed this game. I think it gets slated quite a bit for its cinematic kind of approach and its QTEs and things like that. But I really liked the cinematic approach. I thought the world, world building in the game was superb. And I really wish they brought out some more... Um, some more content for it, or even a sequel, that would be fantastic for that. Next steel book here, we've got the Star Ocean Integrity and Faithlessness. Again with a slip sleeve. So this game is a very by the numbers uh, JRPG. Um, I did finish this, it's quite good artwork in there as well. I did finish this, but it's nothing special, it doesn't do anything unique. It's a good game, it's, a, it's an okay game. Um, there's just nothing worth going back to, if that makes sense. It was okay to go through it once, um, but I don't think I will go back to it. The next two games here are games from my Game Tower. So I'll talk about these a little bit more in my Lockdown Games videos. But we've got Little Hope and Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Moving on, we've got Guilty Gear. XRD Revelator. The graphics in this game, the presentation is absolutely stunning. Um, I just don't know what it's all about. Um, there's a big storyline in here, a big um, lore, but I think I'm just too late to the party for it. I'd love to, I'd love to be into it, but um, I'm just not because it's it's mad. It's really mad. But the graphics and everything about it is so cool. The presentations. Phenomenal, second to none almost. The game here that me and my two brothers put hours and hours and hours into is Destiny. My big brother still plays Destiny 2, he's still right into it. Um, I've kind of fell, fell off the Destiny kind of uh, bandwagon a little bit. Um, it's a bit too much now. Um, I think I spend a wee bit of money now to get back into the all the DLC. Um, I can't remember, it was something light or something like that. But, 
don't really follow Destiny as much anymore. This one is again belongs to my son and the missus, which is Harry Potter Lego collection. Uh, if you're into Harry Potter, then I guess this game's for you, it's not really for me. This one here is a Christmas present for my son and it's brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Crash Bandicoot 4 is about time. Really tough. Um, but it's really really good fun, the graphics are brilliant in it as well. Another one I, I really really enjoyed, um, I really need to try and go back to it and do some of the additional stuff in it and it's Borderlands 3. I enjoy the Borderlands games, I think they're really funny um, and I love the graphics in them, I, I love the cel shaded look to Borderlands, I'm a big sucker for cel shaded games. Um, sorry. So another PlayStation exclusive. Um, I saw Dad and Lads playing this not long ago, and it's days gone. Brilliant game. I got the platinum in this. Um, I couldn't stop playing it. I thought Deacon St John and his whole story was phenomenal, riveting, kept me hooked. Um, it's a really long game as well. I think. I think if somebody else was to have made this game and put it out, then the second third sorry the final third of the game I think could have been DLC to be honest but um, I'm glad it wasn't I'm glad it was all in, on the disc in, in the game because it's a stunning stunning story and it takes you all the way through the story um, and keeps you hooked so really enjoyed Days Gone another one which is a cheap one but I don't see the peripheral here it was Guitar Hero Live um, unfortunately, I think the servers are down for this now, so you can't get any more songs for it. Um, but Guitar Hero is Guitar Hero, good fun games. Next one here is a game that's been out and released for everything. It's been out for ages and it's um, Skyrim VR. Uh, this is the first time I've ever sat down with Skyrim. I've played it now and again back in the day. I think my little brother was really into it. This is the first time that I really sat down with it, and VR is fantastic for Skyrim. Um, I think I think I got to the end of it. I can't really remember. I remember fighting a dragon on top of like a, a mountain or something. I can't really remember. Um, I don't. I need to get back into Skyrim to be honest. This one here is a Square Enix game from Disney, so Kingdom Hearts Three. Um, got part of this as a, a deal in game, I think it was, was it 3 for 20 or something like that, or 4 for 20, I can't remember. Um, the Kingdom Hearts games, I've always been interested in Kingdom Hearts games, but I think it's going to take a lot of time to to get into it. I think the story is really, really complicated like throughout the, throughout the game, so it'll take a wee bit of time. Another game that I really enjoyed, um, it was so unique and it was so hyped as well. There's a lot of uh, hype behind this game when it was coming out, and it's Death Stranding. I think Hideo Kojima is a, is a genius at what he does, um, and the graphics in this game are absolutely phenomenal. Um, I, I, re I really did enjoy it. I thought the music um, by Low Roar, that was a really cool soundtrack to the game. Um, the whole game was just a really kind of eerie, kind of creepy uh, world, which was really, Cool to kind of walk around in, I guess, but it was really cool. Another one here gets slated a lot, um, like a lot to get slated so bad, but it's um, Contra Rogue Corps. Um, I think I remember 2D Rob talking about this, and he said if it wasn't called Contra, then it wouldn't have been slated quite as much. I've had a wee shot of this, I played co op on it with another YouTuber for a wee bit. Um, Veritas399 uh, It was fun, it's a good shooter but yeah like Champion 2D Rob said it's, uh, if it didn't have the name Contra then it would have been received a lot better Another one of my son's games is Knack 2 so me and my son are still playing this now and again uh, we've kind of fell off it a little bit but it's quite a cool wee to the co-op game um, we were streaming it at one point so we need to we need to get this finished 
I love the VR game, which is absolutely stunning. I love this game. This is very short, and it's Moss. Um, if you've not played this game, I'd highly recommend it. It's very, very short, though, like I said. But it's just really cool when you put the VR headset on. It's almost like you're, well, you are, really, you're looking down on the wee mouse, which is called Quill. And um, <laughs> it's hard to explain. You, you're kind of looking down and you can see the whole environment and you you pull the, the wee beasties about, you you pull things to fix puzzles and then you use analog sticks to control quail and run around and attack things. It's really cool. It's really hard to um, talk about it and do it justice, but I, I really enjoy this game. So the next two here. There's a series of games which are, don't really need much introduction, which is Uncharted Collection and Uncharted 4. Um, incredible games, absolutely brilliant. These are the kind of game, the exact kind of games that I like. Just like um, blockbuster movies almost, um, that takes you through a story. Um, expertly written, the graphics are amazing, the, the, the music's stunning, the gameplay is tight and just really, really good. And this is another game that I need to give some more time to. And it is one of the kind of games that I would like because it's a first person shooter and I believe it's really narrative um, driven as well and it's Prey, the um, PS4 here. Yeah, it does look cool. It says here it's made by the, the award winning creators of the Dishonored series. So I need to give this another go. I've played it a little bit and then I just fell off it. I don't know why. Yeah, that, that could be probably the next game that I'm going to play through on my PS4. Final Fantasy Type O HD. Not one I've played much of. I do like Final Fantasy games. I think this was a PSP game or a PS Vita game at one point. PSP, I think it was. Yeah. It looks cool. I need to give that another go at some point as well. And this game here got really really high uh, reviews but I just can't get with it I don't know what it is I think you have to put a lot of time into this game it's a uh, Divinity 2 Original Sin Definitive Edition so I'm guessing it's got all the DLC and stuff like that in it um, I used to like these kind of games when I was younger I liked the, like the Baldur Gate and things like that and, but yeah I'm just I don't know I need to probably dedicate some time to that game. Another a game here that I want to play with Mrs because it is a two player game as well and it's a play link game and it's hidden in the gender. So I think this could be cool playing with the Mrs because it's kind of it's kind of like a movie. It's kind of a it's a very narrative heavy game so I think we could have a wee bit of fun playing that one. This one here is a game that split the fan base. I personally love it. I think it's fantastic. Um, I think, as far as like game mechanics go, you can't get much better than this game. I think they've nailed everything in it, and it's a uh, Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain. I really, really did enjoy the story. It was unfinished, um, as a lot of you know like, that have played it or seen reviews about it. Um, it was unfinished, I don't know really what happened. I think Konami rushed the game. Uh, Kojima didn't want to release it, but Konami rushed it out, I think. And that was that led to Kojima leaving, I guess, ultimately. And he didn't want to release it because it wasn't finished. I think there was plans on bringing out DLC for it and things like that. Um, it was just a shame it didn't get completely finished, to be honest game here that I loved on the PS2 and put hundreds and hundreds of hours into it. I absolutely loved it. It's Final Fantasy XII. This is the Zodiac Age, so it's the, the remastered version. Yeah, I love Final Fantasy XII. Final Fantasy VII was always my favourite Final Fantasy. Um, Eight and Nine were good as well. I liked them. But I think when Final Fantasy XII came out, it, that really hooked me back into the Final Fantasy games. Um, Ten, I didn't like Ten so much. But I think now that I'm a little bit older and I'm, I'm after like more linear kind of games, I think maybe 10, I need to go back to 10 and have a wee look at that. Rise of the Tomb Raider. 
20 year celebration. Brilliant game. Sorry, actually, I've never played this game, but the first, the first one was brilliant, um, and I've heard this is really good as well, along with um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, so that would make up the trilogy of the reboots of Tomb Raiders. I'm um, looking forward to giving this a go. I think it was free with the PS Plus not long ago as well. Next two games here are both. That's what. Next three games here are all remakes, and I'll put them into the order that I prefer them. So we Ratchet and Clank remake. This is another one that I've platinumed. Did I platinum any of this? Nah, I didn't. I platinum this one. Um, I love this one. This came out, I think, around the same time as the movie, and it just looked, it looked like you were playing a DreamWorks Pixar kind of movie. The, the graphics are stunning in this game. And it controls so well, nice and fluid and smooth, and yeah, this this is a cracker. Um, really, really enjoyed this. Next one is Final Fantasy Remake. Um, love this game, absolutely love it. I think they've done such a good job um, retelling the story and setting it up for what's what's to come. I'm really excited to see what's going to come. Because I, 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 won't, I still won't spoil the ending for anybody that's not played it, but, but I'm so excited to see what's going to happen. What they're going to do with it, sorry. And then my favourite remake it has to be Resident Evil 2. Amazing, stunning graphics. Um, the gameplay, the gunplay, the, the, the mechanics of it is just so tight. Uh, the presentation, amazing. Sounds so creepy as well. That this, this is how remakes should be done. This is the the pinnacle. I've not got Resident Evil Three. Um, the reason I got Resident Evil Two is because well, it's a classic, absolutely brilliant game. But also the the original was one of my favourite games, and I really wanted to get the remake, and they've done it so much justice. It's a, an amazing, amazing game. The next one here, we've got The Last of Us. Um, incredible. Uh, so many Game of the Years, what was that? Over 200 Game of the Year awards. Amazing. Uh, the story, absolutely brilliant. Characters, everything. Everything about the game is just class. Exactly my type of game. Exactly my type of game. Um, I do have part two, but my friend still got that just now. So he's still. I don't even know if he's playing it anymore. But I think he's gave up with it, to be honest. But like, I, I loved Uncharted and I loved Uncharted 2 as well, uh, part 2 sorry, I know there's a lot of haters out there but I think the whole thing was done superbly, but again that's just my opinion, I know people don't like what happened with Joel, um, and I get their, I get their, um, their opinions, I understand that, but for me I think the whole thing was done perfectly, I think, um, Nah, I don't want to get into it because it's a whole different thing and it's a, open a whole different can of worms. I really enjoyed part two. Next one here, we've got Far Cry 5. Love this game, absolutely brilliant. Um, I've played Far Cry 2 before, I wasn't that into it. Far Cry 3 was an absolute ma masterpiece, I love Far Cry 3 as well. Far Cry 4, I couldn't get with it, I don't know what it was. I just it didn't click with me, but this one, this one is superb, absolutely brilliant. Um, I love the father. I love his. Um, I love his siblings in it as well. They hold the different territories, and there's really cool places to go as well. Different characters. You can recruit people in it as well. Um, it's just really, really good. It's a really good, believable living world in it as well. This one here I picked up because it's part of the 3 for 20 or 4 for 20, I think it was at the time. And it's South Park Factor Butthole. I'm not a big South Park fan. Um, and this has got actually free game included. Stick of proof as well. I'm guessing that will be a DLC kind of thing. That's pretty cool. Um, I was never into South Park, but I've heard it's all really funny and kind of uh, off the wall, so. Maybe it could be a game to play at some point. Um, Assassin's Creed Ezio Collection. 
So I've heard this is the the best kind of um, run of Assassin's Creed games. It's Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood and Revelations. I wasn't into Assassin's Creed at all until just before Christmas I finished Black Flag. I absolutely loved Black Flag, it was amazing. I loved the graphics in it, I loved the setting um, and I loved being a pirate. And then I got Valhalla for my Christmas and I really really enjoyed that one as well. Um, being a Viking again was was brilliant and going through raiding all the Engli England counties and things like that and yeah it was really really cool so I need to maybe have a wee look at this at one point another one that I've, I haven't played before I've heard it's pretty good and it's a four player kind of co-op game that I was considering playing with my wee brother at some point and it's um, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands so I know there was another one that came out not long ago and it got absolutely slated. I can't remember the name of it. There was Division, there was Wildlands and then... Oh, I can't remember. But I heard this one was pretty cool. And like I've seen like the... The um, cinematic trailers for it and it does... You know with the music and the kind of sharp cuts and everything like that. It looks really really cool. Um, so I need to maybe give that a wee try at some point. And the last game certainly not least um, finished this game last year it's a it's a love letter back to like metroidvania kind of games more metroid i think it i think jordy slasher game that says more metroid in castlevania um axion verge this game is brilliant it was really really tough for me for me it was tough um remembering everywhere to go and things like that um, and then boss is a pain in the ass as well but um, it was really really cool it's only made, it was only made by what, one person, I think it was, Thomas Hap. That's just incredible, that's amazing. I mean, the different power-ups and the, the story is really interesting as well. It really kind of hooks you when you start to piece things together. But the thing that I really love about this game was the music. The music was brilliant. I, I, I could listen to it all day, I just thought it was great. But yeah, excellent Verge, brilliant wee game. And that is it. That is my PS4 collection. Um, hope you enjoyed. Let me know if there's any games there that are worth playing that I've not played yet. Um, and what games I need to add to my PS4 collection. Thank you very much for watching and take care.